I'm Beth Ann. What's up? I'm Ayla. This is Let's Talk BL, a boys love podcast. Today on the podcast, we are, as usual, and I know we say this every week, and I'm just going to keep saying it every week, super excited. So excited. (laughs) So excited. And it's because we're actually here today with the chef who has cooked his way into our hearts, and I'm sure all of your hearts. We hear about it all the time. Today, we're here with Gameplay. Hello, my name is Gameplay Rabbit. I'm so very excited. We're so excited. Also, that's the theme of today. The theme of today is excitement. Yes, Mm -hmm. that's only gonna make it more fun. Okay, so thank you for joining us. We have a little tradition here at Let's Talk BL of playing a game with our guests called Lost in Translation, where we scour the internet looking for fun facts about you that, of course, a lot of times are in Thai. So we have to Google Translate, which doesn't always work out very (laughs) well. Uh, So, you know, we are going to read through some fun facts and okay. Ayla's gonna get us started. So we're gonna start with the basics. Uh, number one, we're gonna start with name because this is something that happens with a lot of fans. We try to figure out how to say your Thai name. Okay. We had the true pleasure of having a Thai friend who helped us. We're gonna see if we get this right. Okay, gameplay. Garn Papan Lao Oh, yeah, Perfect. correct. Oh, my God. That's the best compliment I have ever received in my whole life. <laughs> Truly. <laughs> We're trying really hard to learn Thai. So this is the it first was, step. This pronunciation is very, very colic. Nice. Thank you. This, <laughs> truly, I can, I can retire now. This is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so moving on. Birthday, March 26, 1994. Yeah, correct. True. Correct. Okay, yeah. here's the one that people always, that, you know, artists always try to fight this on. Height, 173 centimeters, which if you're in the U.S. is about 5 foot 8. Um, again, please. 173 centimeters. Um, fault. It's because 174. 174, yeah. okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. The internet got it wrong. Yeah. Okay, so a little bio is Gameplay, also known by the nickname Game Gameplay Rabbit, is a Thai actor, chef, and model who is working in the Thai entertainment industry. True or false? True. So... Awesome. That's easy. One thing that we see in a lot of bios is kind of like what part of Thailand you're from. So where where in Thailand are you from? Where's your hometown? Um, I'm from Bangkok. I grew up and raised here in Bangkok. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Awesome. awesome. So then we're going to hop over to some more basics and fun facts. I'm going to let Bethany take over. I've talked enough today. <laughs> yes. So we have your your work. You started in Lovesick and then the school, He, She, It, which is a personal favorite of ours. Ingredients, another favorite. And then you're about to start in Bite Me, which we're super excited to see. True or false? Yes. True. Oh we miss God. anything. You, you know, like, um, not much people know that I have a role in the school before. They just know that love sick and then he, she, it, and ingredients skip the um, the school. And I'm, I'm so shocked that you just mentioned that name. <laughs> the internet, it's helpful. We're so perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Very thorough. Okay, here's some... A little fun facts that we found through fan translated interviews that you've done. So one fun fact is gameplay describes himself as a straightforward and blunt person who is also a fun guy. True or false? Um, <laughs> true, true, true. But um, it, it, sometimes it depends in, in the moment, you know, like sometimes you just have a lot of energy, but sometimes when you're sad, 
your mood at that day we're gonna you know not happy every day totally but normally it's gonna be yeah so but yeah. usually we we're gonna, i'm gonna have more fun and talk to you with my friend a lot yeah you're more playful yeah gotcha okay you forget things easily <laughs> true <laughs> Is that- Does that mean you lose things too? <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm I'm always losing my car key every time, and also my phone. So every time I'm, and also my phone. So when I lose it, I have to say, "Hey Siri," around the room, around the house. <laughs> hey Siri, to find it. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. That's really <laughs> funny. <laughs> Yeah, I will say I have an Apple Watch, and there's a feature that lets you ping your phone. That's very helpful because <laughs> mm-hmm. you know you don't have to walk around your house saying "Hey Siri." <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, yeah. so you have a cat named Richter. Yes, true. Cute. How old is your cat? It's about already two years old. Do you know why I am call him Richter? No, I don't think I do. No, tell us. We want to know. Okay. Yeah. Um, because of um, the first time that I saw Richter, a, a kitten, a baby cat, then my heart jumped so bad. So like, it skip a beat. So yeah. it's like an earthquake, you know. So I call it Richter. Like the Richter scale. Yeah, oh I get my, it. Yeah. I love oh my it. gosh. <laughs> That's amazing. <Yeah>. So deep. <laughs> Adorable. <laughs> Okay. The last fun fact we have is that you studied French cuisine at Le Cordon Bleu du Cit Culinary School. True. Amazing. Yeah, we found a Thai article from I guess when you opened your restaurant back in 2015. Uh huh. Yeah. Do you remember this article? Not too aware of it. <laughs> Definitely go back and look. You remember the last question that I have a short memory? Oh right. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Maybe yeah, we're should... we're getting to the. He forgets things, Bethan. Come on, we right, right, already right. talked about this. Apologies. Yeah, because that was. I'm sorry for that. that. But no, when um when Ayla mentioned that we should like search people's names in like Thai, I was like, oh, that'll give us like articles because again, searching gameplay is impossible <laughs> on the internet. <laughs> yeah. Like gameplay Thai actor is helpful, but it's not going to give us any of the articles that you've done in Thailand, and so. When we did search your name in Thai, it gave us some good old articles from the archives. <laughs> okay. That's the tip for other fans when you're doing research: the yep. learn how to write Thai. That like that is my number one tip. True. <laughs> True. Yep. Okay, let's start chatting. Let's get to the fun, the more fun, extra fun part of the podcast. Let's start with the basics. How did you get started acting? Um. Wow. Um, <laughs> Got to think back. Remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I think it's about like six or seven years ago that um I'm just have a one shop, a bakery shop. Then I'm just make a scone to another cafe, and then some manager that already date. Right now, he already passed. Then he just met me, and then he just asked me to get into his modeling or agency. And then he asked me to go to casting a Love Sick the series. That is the first time that I cast. Then then and then I'm just you know just chosen by that time in Love Sick the series. So that is the first time that I can remember. I remember that. I'm jump into the entertainment business. Yes. Interesting. That's really cool. We always love to hear how actors got started because there's so many different stories. Yeah. And yeah, that's really cool. Okay, this is <laughs> a fun question because we 
were introduced to you. We found ingredient. I found ingredients last year. Binge watched it over a weekend. Was fully invested. Loved it. However, then we found he she it, and our lives were changed. <laughs> We, we love this. Shit. We love this show. We reference it regularly. Um, mm. If you see our shirts, we got shirts for Ghost Game. We got little oh. little ghosts on here for he she it because <laughs> we love she it so much. Spoiler alert: gameplay mm. becomes a ghost. And you he become a ghost, is, uh, which you play very well. So we want to know how did you prepare to play a ghost? Because you're scary as a ghost. Um, actually, it's because of I love to watch a horror movie a lot. Okay. Yeah, a lot. Even like I have no friend to watch uh, the horror movie with me in the cinema. I was gonna go by myself alone in the night. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and and You're that brave. cinema don't have any people. You know, just me alone and watching the horror movie. And I feel like I'm excited a lot, and 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 I think that is the thing that, you know, like I love to watch her movie, a ghost movie. So I'm kind of like a take research and also look how like how ghost is gonna how ghost is gonna act thing or or you know, and because of that, that ghost in he she is is the vengeful ghost. So it's not a normal right. ghost. Yeah, it's not a like normal ghost that just cry or want to kill, but yeah, want to vengeful something like that. And but you know, deep inside the vengeful ghost theme is also love Mike a lot. Yeah. 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 yeah we we love that role for you because truly. So Beth Ann doesn't like scary movies. She hates them. Yes. So she, we watched it together. Like she was like, I can't watch this if you're not here. Yeah. I like had <laughs> seen clips and could not watch it by myself. So I had to wait for <laughs> Ayla to watch it with me. Cause I like <laughs> sat there with like my hands over my face. Cause you're so scary when you know, you're a ghost. I loved it. I like <laughs> horror movies. So I was into it. But yeah. that night, it, there just happened to be a thunderstorm. <laughs> and every time something in the house, like we went to sleep, whatever. And every time there was like a noise in the house, we would we'd stop. And still to this day, we'll stop and look at each other and we'll go, it's Ghost Oh my God. He's here. It's Ghost <laughs> I'm. <laughs> uh, so yeah. funny. Uh, yeah, I got to say our number one question for Jeff Satter is, does he feel guilty about murdering you? Because we'll never <laughs> forgive him. <laughs> no, okay. definitely not cool. Okay, so moving on, moving on, moving on. So your characters in he, she, it, and ingredients were very different, and mm -hmm. because you were playing with Jeff, you kind of have to like you're with the same partner for both. Which character did you like playing more? Um, it's very hard to to choose one, you know, like yeah. because I love them both. They're because very of, different. Yeah, very different because of um, Pim is have a, you know, like a ghost, which is I love to watch a horror movie and I become a ghost and it's very right. excited. Uh, right. But the ingredient is a chef and also I am a chef, and it's like. It's just my passion to 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 do the the ingredients also because of every episode I have to think about the menu that we I were gonna do it because of the director we're gonna give the situation and give my homework I call homework to decide it yeah. what food or what menu that we were gonna do to fix that situation so I feel oh. like. Yeah, so I feel like both of them are different, and I love them both because of the another side is my passion about her movie, and another side is about cooking, which is I am a chef. So yeah, it's very hard to choose one. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool! So in, in ingredients, you got to be you got to decide the menu that you were gonna cook. Yeah, 
and I'm、uh-huh. also the one who cook it. I have to cook it, you know, for the、yeah. first portion, for、uh-huh. shooting and cooking again to acting as a cooking. So and also create the menu that what menu that I'm gonna cook. So the ingredient is the theory that I very work hard on it. Yeah. Uh, That's so interesting. I had no idea、yeah. you were that involved with the the food side of it. Yeah, and yeah, I, nice I just to want、know. to tell you one story about the ingredients. Like, there's one day that we have to film more than twenty six hours, nonstop. Oh my gosh! Yeah,、What? that is oh my、okay. god. <laughs> How much did you、I'm、cook? About to, <laughs> it's about eight. Menu eight time full、oh、menu, full menu and but eight time be, because we have to do twice、oh、for for one episode、right. and you know seven twenty six hours I about to faint、oh、I'm about、gosh. to knock out and back out yeah it, it, it seems like we have another bone to pick with Jeff、uh, yeah. because I think he had it probably pretty easy compared to what you were doing because you had to. And cook. <laughs> He was just over there playing his guitar, probably. Yes. <laughs> <Jeff. laughs> Come on.、Uh, okay, okay, so speaking of, what's more difficult, cooking or acting? Um, I think both. Oh, this one is also hard to choose <laughs> one, which is. Which one is harder? Um, but both of them have a different, different, you know, different job, different work. Because of when you're cooking, you can, uh, you can use the, what is called the ingredients, you know. But sometimes a acting don't have any ingredient, but you have to use all your instrument. Instrument is mean your face, your eyes. Your emotion, but ingredients is like you can go to buy the ingredients, so you don't have to practice anything much because if you know the technique already, but the acting you have to know a lot of technique and also practice a lot because and you have to believe it. So <clears throat> when acting, you have to use inner、yeah. believe inside to to believe in the role. Yeah, so that is the hard part to to do it.、Uh, but the cooking is not is is hard because you have to go to find the ingredients because <laughs>、yeah. you cannot create your own ingredient or take it、right. the ingredient from yourself <laughs> something like that. Yeah. Oh, that's so interesting. That just makes me think the episode where、uh, Jeff's character suggests that like you put your cooking online. The man, you really had to like step up your acting to pretend like you didn't know how to cook on camera. <laughs> you had to act extra hard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I remember that part. That I had to act like、um, I don't know how to act. Okay,、yeah. you know, <laughs> that's very fun. Yeah, impressive. Okay, so then, what is your favorite ingredient? Speaking of ingredients, um, the you mean the ingredients for baking, cooking, or yeah, ingredients like what's your what's your what's go your to、cheese? ingredient? Yeah, to cook with. Ah, okay. Um, I love cream cheese. Oh, oh interesting.、Yeah. So, do you like baking can... or cooking more? Um, baking. I'm baking、oh, okay. more. Actually, because of I really love to eat cheesecake and carrot cake and red velvet. So if you if you notice that all these cake have a lot of cream cheese, so I will love it so much. Interesting. Yeah, and, yeah, and 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 you, you believe me or not, I can eat the whole package raw cream cheese. No, you cannot. My, <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I can remember that、um, I went to Japan for fifteen days, and then I ate dessert every day, every meal. Like I can skip the meal, like normal meal, to eat the dessert. And you know, I'm 
go around Tokyo and then Osaka and then Nagoya to eat all of the dessert that I already planned for 15 days. Oh my yeah. gosh. So you have a really big sweet tooth then. Yes. <laughs> I guess cream cheese is like the best option because it's like, it's not healthy per se, <laughs> but it's not like too sugary and sweet yeah 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 all right yep okay so in addition to cooking and acting we've gotten a little of your singing because you sang on the ost for ingredients and have featured on songs with jeff so are you interested in singing more or releasing your own music um, I'm very ex excited in that time because of that is the home studio that I have to go to uh, that I have that I have went to Dev House and yeah. like record the sound and you know like sometimes I'm very new to singing and Jeff is very kind to me very calm like he went <laughs> to 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 okay. let me learn how how to sing some key that I don't understand and also the rhythm or the tempo that some because of when I'm singing I'm really rushing to sing gotcha you know yeah, yeah and just yeah. like calm down and play you have to calm <laughs> down <and> get... <laughs> yeah that's that's so funny that time that is so that is very fun yeah. So would I you really want to sing song. more and release more music like on your own? Absolutely, because of this year, um, I, re I already launched a lap song. It's called Me To Me Chan. Uh, it's already launched and we I'm going to have another song more. And also, okay, I don't want to spill the tea, but... <laughs> spill it. Spill the tea. Do it. Spill it. It's exclusive. But, okay, okay. This one is very exclusive. Um, I would never tell anyone before. Um, I was going to have a next song very, very soon. And I think in every month, I will have a cover for more than two or three songs. Oh, for every month. That'll be so fun. Nice. Yes. We're looking forward to that. Yeah. That'll be amazing. <laughs> and fans will be super excited about it, which is kind of like something we wanted to talk to you about. So you're kind of known, everybody knows this about you in the BL fan world. You're known for really talking to and interacting with fans. You just like, you interact a lot. What is it like for you to interact with fans all over the world? Because you have a very international fan base. Uh, uh, can you say it again? Yeah. So what is it like for you to interact with fans from all over the world? Um, You mean like where or? Yeah. So on social media, everybody knows. Gameplay interacts with people, right? Gameplay <laughs> is always, post, you know, you're always posting on Instagram and going live. Is it fun for you or interesting for you to get to talk to people all over the world? Because your fans are oh. kind of everywhere. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, because of some of uh, my fan is have a lot of Japan and also Philippines and also Brazil. So, I'm trying to learn a lot about their own culture and also their language. So it's very fun, you know, to interact with the uh, international fan because of I have to, it's, it's gained a lot of me to improve my English and also Japanese. And also I know a little bit of slang in Philippines, in Tagalog. So I think it's very fun. And also uh, in the Twitter, sometimes I don't understand what it is. So I'm translated and then <laughs> I'm trying to type in English and then translate in their language to oh, like surprise wow. them, to surprise them that like, oh my God, gameplay can understand their language. So I think that is yeah. a very fun part that we like trying to know uh, culture of each other. Yeah. Yeah, that's 
as people who are from the States and are interested in really all of Asian culture, that's the first thing we do is try to learn a language, try to learn a culture. It's really interesting. So it's always really nice when we interact with artists that do make Mm -hmm. that extra effort to like your lives are great to watch because you speak in Thai, but then you also speak in English. And that just like shows us really how much you care to like communicate with everybody, which is like, you know, (laughs) we love you. So (laughs) this just makes us love you more. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah. I think you do a great job interacting across all languages. I was watching you cut your hair yesterday. Um, (laughs) (laughs) You were speaking in different languages. It's fine. I cut my hair yesterday, too. We're all in lockdown. We're all the same. (laughs) (laughs) I have things, too. So I'm, like, sitting in front of the mirror doing the same thing. Um, Yeah. yeah, And you were speaking in lots of different languages. And so I think that I think it shows that you care enough to try. (laughs) Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah. And also, like, um, many times... Uh, when Thai people just come to watch my life, sometimes they were gonna like they don't understand what I'm trying to say because they don't <laughs> understand. English. And oh, then, um, interesting. And I had to translate again back to Thai because sometimes the uh, the question is came by English, so then yeah. I answer in English, and then I had to translate the question that that in English form to in Thai, and then answer in Thai again. But and also. Sometimes the question is Thai, so I have to translate the question and answer again in English. Yeah. Oh my gosh, so you just work extra fun. hard. <laughs> Always. <laughs> but One day we're going to see, like, gameplay professional translator. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You know, add that to your resume. Amazing. Okay, so you were talking about different cultures and learning different cultures. So as international fans... Uh, to tie back into your cooking, we want to know what Thai food dish you'd recommend for international fans to try. Oh my god! Um, <laughs> what a whole that is very hot choice. <laughs> you know, because I'm uh in for the food, I'm not picky, but for the dessert, I'm very picky on it because of I'm ate a lot of dessert and I know which one is good ingredients is is good or not because of because of the dessert is have a lot of calorie so when you yeah. eat it you have to you know burn your calorie a lot so <laughs> make it gonna, count you're gonna design it like this one is worth it or not <laughs> eat it. <laughs> but for the food um i'm not picky on it but for for my recommend in, in, in a Thai food, I recommend curry because the curry is the thing that I'm really good in it. Yes. Oh, no. Nice. Because, yeah. <laughs> because curry, you have to use a curry paste. Do you know yeah. the curry paste? Yeah. So I have the secret ingredients to put inside of it. And I, I wish someday that I have my own restaurant and the pandemic is over. And I already opened some small restaurant. I just want you all, my international fans, to, to, to try it. The curry. They have, in Thai, they have a lot of curry, you know. Um, sometimes yeah. it's not spicy. Sometimes it's not, it's very spicy. Yeah, so I just recommend a curry one. But I cannot shoot yeah. which curry. But I just, <laughs> I just say curry. All of them. Yeah, all of them. Oh, we definitely yeah. have to save up our appetite when we go to Thailand. Cause yeah, Ayla yeah. and I plan on visiting Thailand at some point in the future, and your restaurant, if it's there, will be the first stop off the airplane. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Great. Yeah. Uh, so you have a new show coming out, which we're really excited about. Um, it's called Bite Me. What part of this new show are you looking forward for fans to see? Huh. Um, this one is very funny um, because of the bite me is about chef and the deliver, you know, the delivery. 
Yeah. Um, but I'm not a chef or any no. delivery. I'm just yeah, no, I'm not a chef. Oh no. <laughs> um, actually, the first time that I go to casting this this series, um, I'm tell them that I can cook, but when they see, when they saw my character, they don't put me into the chef. They put me into the um, the one guy who look very rich. And very lazy. I don't know why. I don't, do I look lazy or what? No, no not after this conversation. Never. Oh my gosh! Maybe they just wanted yeah. to give you a break because they heard about all the work that you put into ingredients. Yeah. They're like, let's just cast him where he can sit and eat the food. <laughs> yeah, correct. So I think like um in the in the bite me I'm the character. Is, the name is called B. And B is the friend of the uh, the guy who is the main character, Mark. Mark, what do you do? You know him? Yeah. Yeah, I I am his friend in his band, and also uh, B is very lazy and very rich guy who don't want to learn or anything. It, but it's also it's also like. Mm, like my real life a little bit because I don't like to learn in the school. But you know what? Um, um, I, I love to I I love to study m- by myself. Yeah, so that is the difference. Yeah. And so also, it's a it's a new role for you. Something we haven't seen you doing before. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this role is not like you know because of the um, okay. Uh, in the acting. I was gonna call them two kind of it. The first thing is the passive, uh, the passive actor, and the another one is active, active actor. So the he she it is the passive because of Pim don't say much because right. he always like put the feeling inside. Also like the top in the ingredients. Tops, he's not, he's always shy, you know, always shy, yeah. always like don't say anything. But B is very active person. What he wants to say, then he will gonna say it. And then he don't care about the, the, the world much. Yeah. So I think that is the another role that is very interesting, interesting for me. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, that's so exciting. I'm yeah. excited to see you sort of in this new role and something we haven't seen mm-hmm. before. Yeah. So you either pick characters that do a whole lot, don't say much, or say too much and do nothing. <laughs> um the the character that not say much is very hard to play because of oh, okay. you know is is have to use a lot of inner inside of it because they cannot express their emotion much so they have to use right. some some wipe which is is much more harder than active character who just like express them themselves like express their emotion say what they want to say and then the viewer or who watching will going to understand oh what they think but the passive character sometimes the the, the 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 viewer will not sure what they think so that is yeah. much more hard for me yeah gotcha yeah, that makes well sense. all of them are so fun to watch because you do an excellent job oh, thank of you. acting and all of it <laughs> so last question and then we'll let you go thank you so much for coming on and talking to everybody but where can fans find you? How can they follow you? Where do they go on Instagram or Twitter or wherever if they want to follow Gameplay? Okay, um, you can follow by my Instagram, gameplay.rb, G-A-M-E-P-L-A-Y dot R-B. And also in the Twitter, Gameplay Rabbit, and my YouTube channel, which is, is going to release very, very, very soon. And they have a lot of content, and all the content is created by Gameplay. Uh, I am a creator in 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 a creative in that in my my YouTube channel. So you can follow Game Pop Play. Game Pop Play is mean Gameplay to you to play. Oh, yeah, that's fun. Uh, I like that. 
yeah, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah, and also, um, I will gonna have the. I think this year and next year, I will gonna have a lot of series, much more than three or four series. So please stay tuned on it, okay? And also Absolutely. song, also the music, also yeah. So clearly, you're not a passive person in real life. <laughs> <laughs> You're definitely yes. not lazy. In real life, yeah, gameplay yeah. is booked and busy. Yes. Yeah. Um. That is a fun fact about um, uh, the people try to like find who is real gameplay. You know, because of when they watch in the ingredients in the he she it in the um, in my life. So the character is very different in each platform. So. So they just doing a meme, you know, like a meme for he she it, and also a meme for ingredients. Like because of <laughs> yeah. it, ingredients can play is always shy, always like don't say anything much. But in real life, in in life, you know, I'm targeted like two hours. Then I'm just forgot that oh my god, this already two hours that I talk <laughs> nonstop already. So, uh, so I just like, okay, goodbye. So see you <laughs> next day. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's amazing! I feel like that's helpful when, as an actor, because people want to hear you talk. They want to hear what you're doing, and we're interested in who you are. So it's fun. You keep us on our toes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Never know what we're gonna see next from gameplay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Well, thank you again so much for joining us. We've really enjoyed getting to know you. We've got some some good information and some uh, some exclusives here. We're so excited. Uh, again, don't forget to follow Gameplay um, across his social media. You can also find Let's Talk BL at Let's Talk BL on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Uh, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. This is Let's Talk BL.